Ora Tamariki Ma and welcome to a Napier Libraries tutorial. My name's Ellen and I'm a Community Engagement Librarian at Napier Libraries and today's tutorial is about stop motion. So you might have seen stop motion before in movies like The Lego Movie or Shaun the Sheep. Uh, if you don't know what a stop motion looks like, this is one that I've made using a jigsaw puzzle. anything for stop motion. You can use Lego, toys, cut up bits of paper or anything you've got lying about the house. And to create a stop motion we take the object that you're using and move it bit by bit and take a photo each time. And then at the end we put the photos all together using an app and it looks like the object is moving which is pretty cool. So what do you need to create a stop motion animation? The first thing you'll need is a device. So either a tablet or a smartphone. And we'll use these to take photos of the objects as we go along. Next, you'll need to download a stop motion app. So I've used an app called Stop Motion Studio, which is a free app. You can pay to upgrade it, but you don't really need to. It's a really easy app to use, but of course there are lots of other apps out there, so you can have a look and see which one suits you the best. Next, you'll need something to keep your camera still while you're taking photos. So if you've got a tripod, that's great. I don't have a tripod, so I've made one out of Lego. And I can slide my device into the tripod to keep it nice and still. I can also blue tag my uh, tripod down to the table when I'm using it so the tripod doesn't move around as well. Uh, you can make one out of anything you've got around, around the house. If you've got a box, you can cut a slit into the box and put your tablet in through there. Um, if you've got a shelf, you can put your tablet on a shelf and take photos from above as well. Next, you'll need to make a set. You can use a table with a wall, or if they're different colours, you can put a sheet over a table like I have here to block out the background. And finally, you need some objects to star in your stop motion. So I used a puzzle in mine, but you can use whatever you like. So let's have a look at the Stop Motion Studio app. If you open the app, you'll see that towards the top of the left side, there's a big plus sign. So we need to tap this to create a new movie. Next, let's set things up before we start shooting. So towards the bottom, you'll see the settings icon, which looks like a cog. Let's tap that. Next, we need to find the timer icon, which is on the left. Let's tap that and we're going to set the frames per second. So this is one thing that's important in stop motion. The more frames per second that you have, the slower and the smoother your animation is going to look. In movies, they'll shoot maybe in excess of 24 frames per second, but today let's set ours to 10 frames per second. So we're just going to slide the ruler across until we get to 10 and then press done. So 10 frames per second basically means that you have to take 10 photos for each second of footage. So if you're going to shoot a long movie, then that means you have to shoot quite a lot of photos. So next, let's have a practice just moving this truck across the screen a little bit at a time, and we're going to take a photo each time. So we take a photo by pressing the red shutter button on the top right, and then we're going to move the truck along a little bit and take another photo and so on. Now if you're worried about bumping your device you can set it to take pictures automatically every few seconds. So you can tap the clock icon just above the shutter button and then we can slide this ruler along to set the amount of seconds that it waits between shots. So I'm going to set it to three seconds and press done. Then the next time we press the shutter button, it will count down and take a photo automatically. And this is handy because you don't have to concentrate now on taking photos, you can just concentrate on moving the object. Okay, so let's stop that there 
Now you can check what your animation looks like as you go along by hitting the play button just underneath the shutter button. And that looks pretty good to me. Okay, if you decide that um, you don't want a shot, if you make a mistake, you can select the frame that you want, press on it, and it will come up with a menu. And to the bottom right, you can press the delete button, and that will get rid of that shot. And then you can just go ahead and take photos again. So there you have it, a quick course in stop motion animation. What did you think of it? Do you want to give it a go? Why don't you give it a try? And we'd love to see what you come up with. If you go to our website at www.napierlibrary.co.nz and go to the children's tab, there'll be a section on stop motion animation and you can upload what you've created for us to see. And while you're there, why don't you check out some of the other great things we've got on offer these holidays. We hope to see you in the library soon. Ka kite.